We're joined now by CSUN coach Trent Johnson. Coach, if you would please start us off with an opening comment and then we'll take some questions. Oh, I thought it was a hard fought game. I thought they wore us down, obviously. Uh, we had some guys that were injured and that sort of took us toll, but uh, again, you, you need to tip your hat to Rod's team. They competed at a high level and uh, they made the necessary plays down the stretch to win the game. Any questions? Uh, you, you mentioned the, 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 the fight of this team, and that was kind of the mantra all season long. Uh, the team battled throughout, uh, kind of a, a little battle of attrition kind of here tonight, and Adden, you know, kind of gave it his all. You go down the list. that Everyone kind of competed. Just, just talk about that fight all season long when you look back on this season. Well, it, it, it's hard to reflect, but going into this year, you know, we knew our margin of error was going to be very slim. Obviously, uh, we're, we're building something, and it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, There's a very disappointed locker room because we don't concern ourselves with everybody else's expectations. Obviously, we were picked to be last in this league, and when you look at the amount of guys that were injured throughout the course of the league for us to you know, finish one out in the cellar. You have to tip their hat to their ability to come out every day and compete. Well, there were a lot of close games in non-conference. There were a lot of close games in conference. They could have went either way. So I, I think when you look at it from a standpoint that Adam Wright is the only guy on this basketball team that plays his natural position, and that is a two guard at the collegiate level. Darian Tucker was the sixth post at Oregon State when they went to the elite. He didn't play much at Indiana State. He's being asked to start and rebound and defend at a high level. Deontay Bostic, who's been out for a month and a half, was a ninth man at Murray State. Arguably, he was our best player defensively from a rebounding standpoint. You know, he's asked to do a lot. Uh, then, obviously, I was really encouraged with the play of the freshman, Lamine Niang, although they're not freshmen now, Cam Slaymaker, Johnny O'Brien, I mean, Johnny O'Brien, Johnny Walters, who's been battling back injuries throughout the course of the year. You know, so when you look at it and reflect on it, and uh, I'll have plenty of time to do that, I think you have to tip your hat to how competitive we were this year. And a lot of people want to say, make the comparison to what happened last year. Well, last year, you know, I showed up with a week, and then we had to throw a bunch of guys together. This year, we had an opportunity to recruit some high caliber kids who have really done a very good job socially, done a very good job academically. So now, with three scholarships, maybe four, we'll have to put together some pieces and we'll get a, three or four guys in here that can play at a high level and we'll continue to make progress and get this thing going in the right direction. Kind of looking specifically at this game, Deshaun was, uh, you know, kind of one of the anchors that helped this team kind of get back in it, fell behind early, uh, helped the team kind of get back into the game. Um, you mentioned Cam Slaymaker, first, uh, maybe second start of the season. Uh, just talk about that fight in the first half. Uh, how important was it to ultimately kind of battle back? Because it could really have, you know, the league could have grown at that point. Well, we've uh, shown a tendency to struggle when we're behind. And I thought for the most part, we kept our composure. And I thought our zone helped us. You know, the emphasis on the zone defense was to play inside out you know, try to get them out of rhythm because when we went, man, they can go boom, 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 and they get in the lane and they're physical and they're athletic and they can play over the top of you. So I thought for the most part, our zone did a really, really good job in terms of limiting their easy basket, so to speak. But then when they made a run on us, I thought we did a good job of keeping our poise and executed. You know, it's really interesting. This game is, you know, it's, it's a game of angles. It's not about how athletic you are, how strong you are. It's about you being able to understand the angles and being able to mentally, you know, mentally, you know, be tough 24-7. And that's not when you're winning. That's not when your things are going well for you. That's, that's who you are. That's every day. That's every day when you wake up, when you go to bed. So that's, that's really hard to emphasize and get across in this day and age because I think the, with the rules the way they are now, the portal system and – Kids can graduate early. It's easy for them to say, hey, look, I want to go somewhere else. It's easy for them to say, hey, look, I want to do something else, as opposed to finish the product. And I think we as coaches, we as educators, we need to take a long, hard look at, at you know, what are, what, what, what are we doing for these young people? What are they going to be 25 when they're 26, 27 years old? You know, so for me, I'm always going to 
dwell on those things. And those things are being socially, being academically, academically and athletically accountable. And then the wins and losses will take care of themselves. Great. We appreciate your time, Coach. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.